What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today we are getting into the weeds on a nerdy, somewhat forgotten topic in the world of espresso. Today, we are diving into the mild world of dispersion screens, or as they're more commonly known as, shower screens. Of course, it's no surprise to anyone that there's a whole market filled with all sorts of accessories like this that have claims and features about how they're going to take your espresso to the next level. And that's all fine and dandy, everyone wants next level espresso, and I mean if you don't, why are you even here? But one of the questions I've gotten over the years is how do these screens actually affect things in the real world? Like, for example, the taste of your espresso shot, its cleanliness and consistency, and of course the most important factor when it comes to the shower screen in general is the even application of water onto your puck. Because, as we all know, an even flow of water through coffee in most situations is considered the ideal. So finally, I decided to dive into this question and see what, if any, differences are made by solely just changing the screen. And to do this, I'll be comparing two of the main screens I've been using for the past few years, which is the standard La Marzocco and the IMS Nanotech. I think these two are great options for a comparison because they're about as far away as you can get in terms of design on an espresso machine screen. The La Marzocco is kind of the tried and true standard design, utilizing mostly exposed mesh. The IMS is what they call an integrated mesh screen, hence the name IMS. But it also has a coating that's supposed to keep it cleaner over time. A few of the other differences you'll notice straight off the bat is the size of their holes, the layout, orientation, and the general shape. But before we dive fully into that, we should know a bit more about our espresso machine's anatomy. Buried just beneath your shower screen is another important piece of this puzzle, also known as the dispersion plate or dispersion block. This part of your espresso machine's anatomy is why some folks believe there should be some consideration paid to the alignment of your shower screen. So the main discussion or concern here is that some espresso machines have dispersion plates with multiple exits. So when you place your shower screen onto your dispersion plate, you want to make sure that you're not aligning the exit on the dispersion plate with the hole on the backside of your shower screen because what they think will happen is water will shoot from that dispersion plate through the hole and into your puck, causing premature erosion or some channeling issues. Now the design and the exits of the dispersion plate vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, so I definitely recommend you take a look at yours and see where you're at, just so you know. But in terms of the La Marzocco, this isn't really a consideration. All of the water is dispersed through the center into a hollow screw that then pushes water out in four separate directions over the screen. So personally, I can't test this, but based on my experience, I would say this is a possible but unlikely source of puck or extraction issues. On top of the fact that these screens move and drift during regular use, and you could likely end up exposing these dispersion block streams anyway. So generally, I wouldn't worry much about screen alignment unless somehow your espresso troubleshooting takes you all the way there. Of course, we can't talk shower screens without actually talking about the shower and the most important factor being an even dispersion of water. So let's take a close look at these brand new screens and see how they perform in that department and if it tells us anything. At first glance, they look pretty similar. In fact, they both seem as though they are doing a pretty good job at spreading the water over the entire surface area of a puck. But when slowed down, you can see that there is a small difference between the two. The IMS seems to be a bit more effective at controlling the water flow as most of the water coming off the screen are in the form of drops. The La Marzocco, on the other hand, has some small random streams in the mix, but they both appear to be pretty even and controlled overall. So I would say these two very different designs both perform in a way that you'd expect a premium screen would. So now that we've essentially determined that alignment isn't an issue, the flow rate is also nearly identical, the only other measurable test we could do is testing extractions. That not only means testing their percentages, but also looking at their bottomless flow for any potential issues or differences, as well as giving them a good old fashioned taste. So I dialed in some espresso using 17 grams of coffee, aiming for a 34 gram output in about 25 seconds, and I used the exact same form of distribution and tamping across all shots tested. In terms of the bottomless flow, the La Marzocco seems to run pretty well, but has a slightly higher chance of a channel during the shot, with a significant spurt forming during one of the test shots. The IMS showed no signs of major channels or spurts during all of the test shots, and flowed cleanly and smoothly. In terms of taste, out of the 10 shots tested and over 20 shots pulled throughout the production, I found no noticeable or tangible difference in flavor or texture. 
but the extraction percentages are where things get interesting. I guess depending on what you find interesting. So after pulling and testing the extraction yield on 5 shots per screen, the results sort of spoke for themselves. The Lamarzoko came out with an average extraction percentage of 20.94%, and running it back on the IMS Nanotech, the average extraction percentage was 20.92%. Now, I'm not great at math, but this is pretty easy. That's a difference of 0.02%, which is essentially nothing. So here we are. I guess this is the point in the video where I would normally tell you that one of these screens is better than the other. But based on my tests, and granted, the sample size is small and there is likely some human error in the mix, but it would seem that the real determining factor is your preference. Yeah, the La Marzocco has a cool looking lion on it, it's a little less expensive than the IMS, but the exposed mesh will likely break down quicker over the long term, and it's a bit messier and stickier for grinds. On the other hand, the IMS has a cool neochrome looking finish that brings me back to my car modding days, and it remains noticeably cleaner over time, and directly after shots. It likely will last quite a bit longer due to the integrated mesh, but it'll cost you a bit more up front. I, and most likely you, love it when comparisons like this come out with a clear winner. It just makes for an easier video to make, and let's face it, to watch. But being part of what I consider the copy press, I feel like I have a responsibility to present the results as I find them and give you my wholehearted advice. And what I believe is that neither of these screens is going to increase the quality of your espresso in any measurable or meaningful way. And for me, I'm choosing to stick with the IMS purely for the cleanliness and the possibility of a longer usable lifespan. But with all that said, I think it's time to wrap this one up. Let me know your thoughts on shower screens, this video, also what other types of accessories you'd like to see compared in the future, and of course any other coffee related questions, drop them in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see y'all next week. And of course, a big thank you to my May Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, Christopher, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Andre, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Samantha, Claire, Stephen, Kendall, Bound Copy, James K, Josh Horson, Corey C. Curry, Jeff Roth, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt, Ray, Ninja Weir Coffee, Home Barista Coach, Gumby, Testing123, Zachary V, Tyler F, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Chris M, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Brandon B, Tyler M, Sebastian, Matthew C, JRC, Absolute, Stephen G, Alex T, Jose, Lauren, Keefe, Stephen A, and Jacob, and of course a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram, at Spermetheus, for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.